Praise the Lord, saints. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord again. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. One more time. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. I was speaking for the days of Ella Johnson, congregation of Ella Johnson, congregation. Let's greet by saying, Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank God for uh, this opportunity again. Amen. To preach this gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. There's no better thing to do. Amen. Than to preach the gospel. Amen. Than to live this way. Yes. Amen. There's no other way. There's no better way. Amen. Than this way. Amen. Amen. We are thankful to God that he saved us. Amen. The scripture said, not all will be saved. Those that are to be saved shall be saved, but not all will be saved. Yeah, that's right. Amen. And the scripture says that hell hath enlarged itself. Yes. Amen. And opened its mouth without measure. Amen. Amen. Because of all the people that are going down there. Yes. Amen. They won't change. Amen. Amen. They won't do better. Amen. Amen. They won't come this way. Amen. And so hell hath enlarged itself. If you understand what that means, amen, that there's a place somewhere called hell, and everybody's going down there that <clears throat> won't live this way. Amen. As the brother said, they're stubborn yeah, and, and, and bullheaded. Amen. And they won't come this way. And they've determined in their hearts that they don't need this way. The scripture said, the fool said in his heart, no God. Meaning he thinks he does not need God, but it's not so. Amen. Amen. And so today we're thankful that we can come once again to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. For those that hear, let them hear. The scripture said if you hear and you obey it, then it, it will be a witness for you. Yes. And if you turn your back on it and go another way, it will be a witness Amen. against you. Amen. Amen. I'll say that again. If you obey the word of God, it will be a witness for you. If you turn your back on it, it will be a witness against you. And so this morning... We're thankful to God once again that we can come to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and to preach the gospel. Amen. Let's just sing that song, When Jesus Lived. Yes, he died for me when Jesus died for me when Jesus rose. Yes, he rose for me when Jesus comes. He will come for me when Jesus comes, come for me. When Jesus lives, Jesus lives, yes, he lived for me. When Jesus died, Jesus died, he died for me. When Jesus rose, yes, he rose for me. When Jesus comes, he will come for me. When Jesus comes, one more time. Oh, when Jesus lived, yes, he lived for me. When Jesus died, Jesus died, yes, he died for me. When Jesus rose, yes, he rose for me. When Jesus comes, he will come for me. When Jesus comes, he will come for me. You are listening to the services coming from the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Yes. We are located at 612 Jefferson Avenue. Yes. Pottstown, PA, 19464. Amen. Our phone number is 610-326-2460. Yes. You can also visit our website on www.heeverliveth.org. Yes. www.heeverliveth.org. Yes. We now present the speaker... Elder Johnson, hear ye him. Yes. Amen. God bless you again. Jesus. Jesus is coming soon. Amen. Amen. They don't believe it. They don't want to believe it. Amen. They want to live anyhow in the world. They want to walk anyhow in the world. They want to do what they want to do. Amen. They've taken the gospel and turned it inside out. Upside down. Amen. They preached it the way they've seen it. Amen. They preached it the way they think it should be preached. Amen. Not the way it's written. Amen. In fact, they don't even want you to read it 
and preach it the way it's written. Why? Because they don't believe it. There are many out there that don't believe the word. They're preaching it, but they don't believe it. They have it open in front of them, but they don't believe it. Amen. A man tells you anything in the scriptures is not true. That man is blind. Man tells you anything in the scripture is not right. That man is blind. Man tells you God didn't know what he was doing. God, that man is blind. Because every time he tells you that the scriptures are not right, he's telling you God didn't know what he was doing. Amen. That's what he's telling you. God didn't know what he was doing. Somehow he gave us a book and it was written and man got into it and changed it. And uh, what we have left is something that is corrupt here, corrupt there. And I heard one say, well, the original Hebrew was corrupted by man. And man touched it here and man touched it there. None of it's true. Man is blind. Any man that questions the word of God is blind. Any man that speaks against the word of God is blind. Any man that tells you the word of God is not accurate is blind. Any man who tells you the word of God was misinterpreted was blind. Somehow that the man did not know what God meant. Somehow he changed the meaning. Why do you think Jesus said what he said? I want you to go with me to Acts chapter 2 and verse 38, my brother. We begin there, we end there. Amen. Amen. I want you to go there for just a minute. But also find for me John 14 and 26. John chapter 14, verse 26. So Acts 2, 38 and John 14, and verse 26. And I want you to go to 14 and 26 first. Amen. Cannot change the word. You can't change the word. You may not like it, but you can't change it. You may not understand it, but you can't change it. Amen. No scripture is of any private interpretation. Amen. No scripture is of any private interpretation. God said, I've said nothing in secret. Amen. He didn't say to one and not say to another. He said, what I say unto one, I say unto all. Amen. What was said back then to them, back then is said to us today. Amen. Same spirit that spoke back then speaks to us today. Same work that was done back then is being done today. Yes. The scripture said, greater works than these shall ye do. Huh? Amen. Greater works. Amen. Greater works than they did back then. Today we have no faith. The preacher has a doctor. Amen. The, the preacher, the pastor, he's got his own doctor. Forget about Jesus. Forget about what Jesus can do. Forget about what the scripture said that God can do. We have a song that says, let's see what God will do. Let's see what God will do. He can move the mountains. He can calm the seas. Let's see what God will do. Let's see what God can do. Let's see what God can do. He can move the mountains. He can calm the seas. Let's see what God can do. The preacher has his own doctor. That man standing up there, he's preaching faith, but he has none. He's telling you how to get there, but he doesn't know how to get there. You gotta understand the word. You gotta come out from under that lying preacher, that lying apostle, that lying prophet. You gotta understand the word. We sing that song. Let's see what God will do. He can calm the seas. He can move the mountains. Let's see what God will do. What is there that God cannot do? If you believe it. Read there for me, John 14, 26. My young brother. But the comforter. But the, the, the who? But the comforter. Okay. Who is this comforter? Huh? 
What is this comforter? What's he talking about? Huh? When you get to Peter, it said, well, if you repent and you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Who is the comforter? The Holy Ghost. That's who the comforter is. Is the Holy Ghost. Read on, brother. But the comforter. Yes. Which is the Holy Ghost. That's what it tells you. Tell who he is. Which is the Holy Ghost. That's right. Which is? Which is the Holy Ghost. All right. Read on. Whom the Father will send in my name. Who's going to send it? Whom the Father will send. Well, that's what Jesus said. You can refute it all you want, but that's what he said. Amen. Who, 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 read that again. Which the Father. Which, but the Comforter, yeah. which is the Holy Ghost. Which is the Holy Ghost. That's what it is. That's why we go to Acts 2.38 and we, we tell you how to get there. I heard a man say, well, you don't need to baptize in water. And that Jesus didn't baptize anybody. That's what he said. he said. He said, Jesus didn't baptize anybody. So there's no need to do water baptism. If Jesus didn't do it, why are we doing it? I'm going to show you why. Read on there, brother. But the Comforter. But the Comforter, yes. which is the Holy Ghost. Which is the Holy Ghost. Whom the Father will send in my name. Whom the, the Father will send in, in my name. For those of you out there who are telling the people, you need me to get to God. You need to go through me to get to God. You, you need that man standing there to get to God. That, that's not true. That's blindness. And if it's not blindness, it's wickedness. The Bible said that they have highly esteemed themselves. They've lifted themselves up. Told you, you need them. You don't need them. You need God. You don't need them. You need Jesus Christ. Man says, well, you need a preacher. That's the Holy Ghost. That's who's speaking. That's who's meant to be speaking over the rostrum. Not just anybody. Not just anybody standing up saying, I've read the word. I, I went to seminary college. And I went there. I went here. And so I, I'm able to preach the word. No, you're not. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. Read on. Whom the Father will send in my name. In my name. He shall teach you all things. He shall teach you all things. That's why you need that. That's why you need to go through that process. Now, go to Acts 2, 38. Now, 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 just finish there. It said he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. You heard what it said? Not only will it teach you all things, so you'll have an understanding of the word. You get people out there who don't understand the word, but they're preaching the word. I heard him, as I said, the man, he wrote lovely commentary. But it's wrong. It's nicely bound. It's nicely written. But it's wrong. Man has a good name. People look up to him. But he's wrong. Amen. Amen. Doesn't matter what you want to say. Listen to me now. You can understand the word. Man tells you you can use the, the thesaurus in the dictionary to understand the scriptures. He's wrong. He's blind. How can you use a man's book to understand what God is saying when God said, "My thoughts are as high above the heavens as as uh, 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 as 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 uh, as, uh, as, uh, as uh, above your thoughts? My thoughts are as high above the earth 